Då har vi kommit ett nytt ställe. Så vi ska göra det för att ta oss upp för den här stegen. Mm. Ja, det är ett nytt pussel. Hallå. Gears needs to be used. Det betyder ju att man skulle behöva lite olja eller något. Det Det är som vi ska ta. Ett kärl behövs för att bära upp olja, va? Kolla! Kärl! Här har vi någon liten kärl. Det är för... Ja, precis. Det är... Det var då det stod dyrt på Traverse Safety. Vänta du server, det måste först bli drönt. Ja, här har du inte finnas någon monster, så här är vi säkra. Så ja, då kan vi dra ner den där. Vi går upp där först. En till så har vi förstört den här röret så att kan, så att stegen kan åka ner igen. Så ja! Ja just det, det där blåa skenet som du tycker ut, det betyder att då, då är Daniel alltså kan jag ta hand det betyder att han är, att de pustar han ut och bara så åh du, skönt att det löste sig. Han får helt enkelt en känsla av lättnad, att nu behöver inte han känna sig orolig längre. Det var ju den blåa betyder. Och den förbättrar hans, den drar ner på, den drar upp den här sanity-nivån. Den här, den drar upp den här sanity också. I figured I add a little something about the commentary, why it is in the game and how we did it. As you probably have noticed by now, the quality of the recordings are a bit different. We tried our best, but as we do not have an office, everyone had to care for their own voice recording and make do with the equipment that they had. For me as a sound artist and for Miku and Tapio, this was not really much of a problem. We all got our sound gear to rely on. <coughs> but for the rest, they really had to work to make the best out of their chat microphones. They even got a checklist of things to do such as put a sock on the microphone and what angle towards the microphone to speak at. The reason as to why we did the commentary to begin with was that when we were working on Amnesia we started taking pre-orders of the game and we put up a meter on the website saying that if we got 2000 pre-orders we would add a commentary to the game. I suppose you know the answer to the question if we met that goal or not. Så jag ska gärna försöka få ner den där blåbanan på något sätt. Repair the machine powering the eastern bridge. Precis. Ja, jag vill ska göra det här för att få ner den där andra blåbanan. The red detained birds from water so they began to bleed. Tried out in fear as a spectacle began to consume its blue shimmer. 
Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. This level consists of three parts of a puzzle. For each part you complete you get one step closer to getting the machinery running. It does not matter which order you do it in, so you can complete the level as you like. When I scripted this level I made a basic function for completing a puzzle. Then I added some specific tweaks to each puzzle to make them unique. And then finally a grand version of a complete puzzle function to make it really noticeable when you finish all three of them. I got surprised when several testers said that it was not clear as to when they completed the whole level. That on the first puzzle it was really nice, but that on the second and third puzzle they did not really notice that they had accomplished something successfully. As I was about to start working on this, I noticed something really strange. I had for testing purposes made it so that when completing the first puzzle you would get the grand puzzle completion function, which meant that the first puzzle had a big bang of events while the other two would only have the minor small puzzle completion events. It had been like this since I finished the level, so no one had never experienced the actual sequence of events meant to take place. This type of bugs are pretty nice to fix, because you only fix your own stupid mistake, and then all is done. Då ska vi in i maskinrummet här och undersöka vad vi kan se. Då var det så här idag. Ja, det är ett pussel där vi ska få igång... Uh, we still have four down the night, pump on that, that's it. Machine. The workers have got into this machine, some are quill, but the reasoning of any man. To show that generations of men have passed away since the first attempt of the rear construct, design is most tiring. The limitation of this world has made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build a thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of a tamed lightning crudely replaced the pressure steam, uh, pushing its way through the pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster when it burst through the magnificent glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of rough iron and hope it will have even the tiniest hint of power found in the traveler's locket. Hmm. Well, tell us that I have gold. What can we be on the bottom? Hmm. Vi ska alltså sätta det här röret 
Bunda hovala da. Hadi Bir bileceğim. Ona zaten bir otuk yiyen seni bir tehlike etti de hasta öyleyse herhalde ben öyle yattı bir otuk Dönüş köpü bizi de var Zaten bunu yiyelim. Bir tane şey yap. Bir tane. Ne olsa şey yapıp bunu yiyelim. Bunu daha bir olma olsun. Sonra bu defa sen onu bir yerde alıyoruz. Kaç kere yapıp olsun bir yerde alıyoruz. Andıra bir olma. Ama her türlü bu satan sıkıntı tanıyor. Kalli diyeceğim bir ağımız var helalce de diğer attım Diğer attım da onu oluyor Sakın da Ben farklı sistemin tanıdığına ufak koyarım diyeceğim This map is all about themes and the action the player does are meant to reflect what happens in the diary entries The player needs to turn the vaults in order to progress But at the same time things go bad every time this is done The level gets darker, the sound of someone being trapped gets louder, and the water lurker seems to be coming closer. Everything tells the player not to turn the walls, yet it must be done. Something that reflects how Daniel feels in the diaries. Oh, 
serving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. Jag får känsla av att det finns ett sånt här vattenmonster här precis som en område. Hmm, det vi ska göra är alltså att komma över till det där stället. Ja. Jag har blivit här bara vinget. Badet. Ja, hopp. Sådär. Ja, hopp. Red Rift Server Water. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenburg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good, girls of value, mate. Oh, help. Oh. oh, Jesus. Det är ju så bra att vara falsk alla ögonen här. Det här är Valves in the system till röd och rikt water from the sewer. Mm, då är det bäst att jag går dit då. som drunknar. Oh. Ja, tack gode du. Lite... The inspiration for this level came from me visiting the Basilica cistern in Istanbul. Fun thing was that Jonas, the concept artist who drew the design, had also visited it the same summer, so he knew precisely what I was after. The fishes that can be found were also inspired by the real thing.
Ja, det där var ett slant. Ja, det var ett stort sår som var det. Aj, aj, aj. Åh, röd. Vad är det där för djur? Röd och rött. Supervåter. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. So, do you stir up? Do you also toss down steel from the other? Har den här bronsreaktorn uppe? Så! It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Mm. Uh, det där var sista som vi behövde göra för att få bort det där vattnet i alla fall. Så, då har vi fått det här vattnet i alla fall från de där trapporna, men... Vad det vi ska göra nu är att försöka, innan vi går ner på trapporna så ska vi först... Uh, ...hämta en sten, större sten, testa upp den och så testa upp på den här bron så att den åker ner. Det är väl det enda sättet. So ja. Morgen. Hvor er det? Stjerne mandag. Uff, här finns det säkert en massa av sådana här lastiga drums och vad det är.
Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has? For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Alexander along with Daniel makes up the foundation for the entire story. Together they make the core conflict. There was a lot of background for this character as he is in a sense the villain, so I wanted to do everything that I could to make him likeable and have people sympathize with him. It's just the best way to make it bad guy. If we can have the player feel for their opponent, they might start questioning their own actions. Alexander's story is quite interesting in its own right, but in the end it was important to have the story deal with the relationship between Daniel and Alexander. That's why there is so much about the last few weeks and so little about the history of Alexander. Because after all, since we're playing Daniel and he seemed to want to get back at Alexander, we the player want to know how bad it really was and decide for ourselves if we think he should be punished. Ah, uh, no, Alexander is um, a very interesting figure. The problem for me is that I don't have any oil here. Jag måste spela sig till. Ja, det är det väl inte ljus eller vad? Då får man verkligen hoppas att det inte finns några jäkla zombies här eller vad? The flashback of the guy trapped is actually inspired by true events. During the bubonic plague outbreaks, people were buried so quickly that it was not always checked that they were probably dead. This meant that people sometimes woke up, finding themselves locked up in entombed, surrounded by corpses. Scratches on doors and walls of such rooms have been found, confirming that it did happen. Okay, what well, are we hiding there? Oh. <laughs> What happened? Why are all these dead? Where am I? What's happening? Help! Oh, dude! Help! Oh! A hundo. The final copper tube found in the morgue looks like a part of a surgery culture. Mm hmm, that operation is very good. Okay. Måste vi fortsätta in här till höger?
I hear you breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? As with the cistern, this takes the player closer to Daniel's dark past. It was important here that the corpses did not have the normal gory shock value, but was more true to reality and disturbing. We really wanted to approach this stuff with respect, and not just show it in an exploitative fashion. I hope that shows when you play the game. Mm. No. The vaccine trials. The vaccine enabled my mount to work in a fun with on server is a definitive success. Unfortunately, only a few other servants have been remediated as the procedure proved difficult. The others will perish. And then eventually I will have to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough the past is serious with any, without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Hmm, just sitting there. So, so the writer says, um, uh, uh, yeah, I have also helped this guy, Alexander, to plug and to clear him out of the way. And I think that you can get some magic craft or something. Was it that one of the other? Sår och sånt där, så det är bra om man tillar sig. Ah. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I have seen evil in him. How I am to trust him with the truth? But cruel irony that I have to unto him what Agrippa did unto me. Oj då. Så det var det som att uh, Daniel... Ja, ja en... Ja, det börjar så, var det som minnen har börjat återvända till mig nu. Mm. Ja, det var det som när Daniel är... Han är lite fuffens person. Det, Uppenbart att han har varit del av någon flyktansvärd uh, verksamhet här på slottet med att operera och haft i hjälp med att fånga och så där. För då kan få, få ta del av den här uh, kulan då. Plage outbreak. The strange deaths among the servants and the privileged have been resolved. It seems that the the strange deaths among the servants and the prisoners have been finally resolved. It seems that the drain service has recently been opened up for use as a means of transport is placed by the particular poisonous funded. The victim seems to have an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully Spared by the calamity, but it's clear that it cripples my progress. The prisoners die strictly and they contain the vita. They are the vita of the sort of the energy I seek. 
Är det den energin till från den här White Tide de håller på att söka till den här kulandet? Eller så att de står kunna öppna till någon annan dimension uppenbarligen? Jag tror att immediately start working on the sign. Vaccin. Det är som att det är därför man håller på att fånga en massa människor och göra experiment och döda dem och brutala och allt möjligt. Det är lite vidrigt. Stand up the door and open the door and sala. Han är borta nu. Huh, vad var det? Så, nu tar vi ut den sista nu. Det är väldigt jobbigt att man så fannlar eller inte till några mörker på den här stöden. Så ja! Nu kan vi ta oss till nästa ställe då. Och det är då... ...klåken. Och det blir nästa avsnitt. Hörväs!